Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use Excel in the offset function in order to create a weight tracking spreadsheet. Okay, so I've already got a little bit of setup here, and I'm doing this because I want to I want to chart and, and graph ultimately a daily weight record and a weekly median weight record. And I'd like to do this so that I can easily enter in the information and I'll get the results that I'm looking for by data. I mean. So to start off, I'm going to be using just fake historical data, and then we can use that to go forward. So for instance, for the date, um, I'm going to start off with um, something like July 1st of 2020, and then I'll do equals for the next cell, that previous date plus one, and then I'll just take this and run it all the way down to some point in the future, who knows. Perfect, December uh, 21st, 2020. And the way this is set up, of course, we should be able to change that first date whenever you're starting your plan, and then all the other dates will populate automatically. Great. Now for this day column, here's what I wanna do with this one. That's gonna be equals the weekday of that date. And that's gonna produce a number there. I'll just double click the fill handle to autofill that. Oops, missed it. There it is, autofill that all the way down. This gives us the weekday number for it. Um, a one is a Sunday, okay? And then therefore a six, I'm sorry, the uh, uh, seven would be Saturday and so forth. And I wanna have the weekly median show up every, um, we'll do Sunday, okay? Now this isn't necessarily a column that we're gonna need to see on a regular basis, but we're gonna use it as part of another function coming up. Now for the goal weight, here's what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna put in a goal weight of 150, and I'm gonna have the second one be equal to the prior one. This is something else that we don't need to see regularly, but if we chart this, it's kind of nice because then we can have a line representing the goal weight on there as our you know, as our weight moves closer to that goal, and I'll just autofill it all the way down. That really doesn't impact any of the functions, but it's nice when we want to create the chart later on. Okay, now daily weight is where we're going to start to key things in. Now remember, this is in the past, and I'm starting off by plugging in daily weight so I can test everything out, the charting and stuff like that. So I'm going to start off with a weight of 190. And then what I'm going to do here for the next weights, I'm going to try to be a little bit tricky. I'm going to do equals the previous weight minus a random number less than one. Okay, and I'm actually going to do that twice. And then at the third one, I'll do equals the previous weight plus a random number less than one. Because sometimes your weights are going to go up and down, although overall we want to have that nice downward trend. So occasionally it's going to go up. And then I'm going to end up copying these down. But before I do that, I want to round these as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick on this one. Actually, I should probably rewrite this a couple times. But I'm, let me go ahead and do a round of that value. And I want to do one decimal place. So I'll put a one in there. And it's going to round that result. And I can copy that formula. And then let me just go ahead and fix this one by hand. I'm going to round that value by one decimal place, great. So now I'm gonna select these three, and by auto-filling this down, it's gonna repeat that pattern over and over. So ultimately, ultimately the goal is getting lower and lower and lower, even though um, sometimes weight goes up, sometimes weight goes down. This is just in there so that we can have some data to play around with. I'm gonna put my cursor on the border of that selection, Right click, drag away, drag back. I'm gonna paste here as values only. So all of that function writing was just so I could have some realistic fake data. Okay, now for the weekly median. I'm gonna write this function. It's gonna look kind of tricky, but I'm gonna write it. I'm gonna jump down here to July 12th, which is a Sunday. I'm gonna write it for this one and then autofill it up and down. So here's what I'm gonna do. Equals if, if, the weekday is equal to one. That means it's Sunday, because I only want the median to show up on a Sunday. So if the weekday is a Sunday, then I'm gonna get, we could do median or average. I heard one weight expert, they, they say go for median, others say go for average. It's easy enough to change our minds later though. I'll do a median. The median of that current Sunday weight 
comma the offset of that particular Sunday weight, comma. Now, how many rows do I want to go back? Well, I want to go back six rows. So I take in that current information, I want to go back one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's going to take me to the prior Monday. So check this out. So I'm going to type in minus six. If I did a positive six, it would be going downward six rows. But I want to go back six rows, comma. How many columns do I want to go? Zero. I want zero columns. Close parentheses for the offset function. Close parentheses for the median function. Close parentheses for the if function. I'm going to press Enter. OK, so basically it's telling me, now I didn't finish this off by the way, I didn't finish my if statement, but basically it's telling me that the median for this string of cells is 186.7. Now I can't quickly look and determine that, but let's just do a little test, test off to the side here. Median, and I will grab that selection of dates or weights. And I'm getting 186.6. However, it could just be a rounding issue. Yeah, so um, I think that's all I'm showing. So I'm just getting a slight deviation in the way I did some rounding. So I think that's pretty darn good, though. So no need to do that. And I'll put this back to where it was. Great. Let me go back into this function real quick. Now, if, if that's true, if my day is Sunday, then that's what I'm going to get. Otherwise, if it's not Sunday, I just want an empty set of quotes. I just don't want any data in there. Press Enter. Everything's cool. Now I can autofill this up. Okay, I'll explain that in a moment. And I'll just autofill it all the way down. And so now I can see every Sunday I'm going to get that particular data that I want. Now this one's not working just because I couldn't do an offset because there, there weren't uh, enough days in the offset. So what could you do in this situation? Well, you could just modify it a little bit here. One, two, three, four. I could just change that out to a four. And that would take care of that one. Little green mark just means this function's a little bit different than the others. But now that I've got this information on here, this is great. I can start to plug this in. So in the next video, I think I'm going to refine this a little bit because I only want this weight to show up if it's truly um, in the past. I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. And I would like to make a nice little chart out of this. So see you in a bit.